And Daxon. Hello. Augie. That's a big one too, eh? Mm-hmm. That's Keeper. Oh, that's Elaine. That's Keeper too. Is it really? Yeah. That's sick. Daxon, or me with the hog. Oh. Daxon with the lane. There we go. Hmm? Got out. Got out here, second spot of the day. 16 inch hogfish. Daxon was hating on him. <laughs> he was saying maybe he won't even see one today, but he did. Look at that. Here's a cool little fish I just caught. A little strawberry. And here's Daxon with a mango. Keeper, but we're just gonna force him back. This is heavy. Daxon's hooked up. Ooh! Daxon with a hoggy. Big hog. Daxon's biggest hog of the year. Biggest yeah. hog of his life. <laughs> That's a good one. Daxon with the second hog of the day. Another good one. Here we are. Another keeper. That's his first one ever. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this thing felt heavy. Yeah, they feel. I think you just shocked them because normally they'll, fight. they'll get a death spiral in. Daxon with another species of the day. Scamp grouper, that's a baby, but it's still pretty cool. Here we go. It's not one. Oh, Scampy. Mango. That's a king mango. You can keep that. Like that. For a box filler. Yeah, I single handedly just saved that grunt fly. Another scam. I hand me a shot. Red grouper. With these offshore fish, sometimes really soon you want to throw them up. Oh, shit. Gives them a little shock and they swim back down. It goes. <laughs> but you know what this channel does with mangoes, right? We let them go. <laughs> we let them go. For some reason, these lesser amberjacks. Decided to pull up. Just the jig. Hey, there's just so many under my throat right under mine. You throw your jig right under mine. Oh, well. Just throw it right under mine. Are they close? Grouper. Hooked up. GoPro just died. This is the one. Oh. I think it's a red grouper. Uh, it? it could be a keeper red grouper. That could be a keeper red grouper.
Max just got hooked up. Big fish. Gag. <laughs> gag grouper. Gag grouper. Already got a red on the board. Gaggy. Stacks him with the 19 inch red grouper. Almost 20, but let him go. <laughs> hey. hey. He went down. He went down. Here are the hog fish that we got. The difference is this is a male hogfish and this is a female hog. So we're going to clean them up and cook them. So when you start with the hogfish, you first going to make the cut here, work your way down, work your way back, get it off the backbone. So I'll show that process here and we'll get on to the other fish. All right, now we're going to get into cleaning the hogfish. First, what I do is I insert right here and I'll work my way all the way down the fish. So I'll show you that. Just get an outline, you don't have to cut deep in. And then I'll work my way back. And you wanna work along the back. See how it's opening up? And you're gonna work your knife along the back bones. So you don't miss any meat. And then once you reach the backbone, you're gonna pop the knife just angled a little over and then uh, make sure to cut the tail piece. It's a lot easier when you're standing up, but just for camera purposes, I'm doing it sitting down. Then make sure to do the cut right across. And then cut your way over the backbone. Or the rib cage, I mean. Because she really wants to cut out the rib cage. And then, here's your nice white hogfish filet. And this is a bled hogfish, so I'll compare it to the unbled one. You can see the difference between, this is the hogfish I didn't bleed, but you can see how this one's a little darker compared to this one, which is pure white. So bleeding does make a difference in uh, the whiteness of the meat. Hooking the fish. Now, Daxon, what are we gonna do to these? So we deboned the fillets and we uh, got it on an oiled piece of tinfoil. And we got um, warm butter, Old Bay, and lemon juice. We're gonna baste them on here. Like so. And I'll have the recipe in the description. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip them. Same thing on this side. Push them together. Side, and we'll flip them. We'll be done around seven minutes. See you then. Now it's time to pull them off the grill. Flip them on. It's been about seven minutes. Take them off. The juice. Yep. There they are. We'll let them cool down, and then uh, we'll show you guys. Nice they look done. pretty good. 